Batu Malan Kundang is a tourist attraction in the city of Padang. Many tourists are curious and want to visit want to see the legendary stone up close. This stone is located on the beach of Air Manus in the city of Padang, West Sumatra. Air Manus Beach itself is famous for its enchanting natural beauty. Malan Kundang stone itself is a piece of rock that has the shape of a man who is prostrate. It is said that this stone is said to be able to bring tears, as the embodiment of Malan Kundang who regrets and begs his mother's forgiveness. Once upon a time, in a seaside village in Padang, West Sumatra, there lived a widow named Mande Rubaya with her only son, Malan Kundang. Mande Rubaya loved her son very much which made Malan Kundang a spoiled child. One day, Malan Kundang became seriously ill, so his mother gave every penny of her life savings to cure his illness. Days, months and years passed, Malan Kundang grew up and his mother was an old woman. Malan Kundang asked his mother to let him take a ride on a ship that was anchored nearby and wander to big cities to get better luck for the family. Mande refused his request and asked Malan to stay and take care of his mother instead. Mom, this is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for me. It's not every year that ships of this size dock here. I want to take this opportunity to change our fate please let me go, Malan begged his mother. With a sad heart, Mande finally accepted his request. Please come back soon, my child. I'll be waiting for you here, Mande exclaimed. Day after day passed slowly while waiting for Malan. She prayed every day for Malan to come home safely. To every crew member and skipper, he asked whereabouts of Malan and got no answer or message for him. Mande Rubaya was getting old and weak, meanwhile she heard news from a nearby ship captain that Malan married a noble and rich woman from Big City. Mande, did you know that your son has now married a beautiful woman, the daughter of a very wealthy nobleman, said the captain. Malan, my son, please come home soon, I am old and weak. Please come home soon, his mother prayed every day to meet her long-awaited son. Several months later, another large ship anchored near the village. It was the most luxurious and beautiful ship Mande had ever seen. A rich couple stepped off the ship in sparkling clothes and embroidered with gold. Mande immediately recognized the couple, rushed through the crowd, and hugged the rich man in sparkling clothes. Malan, my son, you're back. Mande cried with joy and relief. Why didn't you text me? I missed you, my child. Unexpectedly, Malan gasped and pushed Mande away from him. His wife also looks down on Mande without respect. Malan's wife spat and screamed at Malan and Mande. Is this disheveled old woman your mother? Why did you lie to me, Malan? You say that your mother is also a noble lady like me. Hearing that, Malan became angry and pushed his mother to fall into the sand, you crazy woman. I'm not your son. He snapped at his mother. Mande Rubaya sank in disbelief and hugged Malan's leg. Malan, oh Malan, I've been waiting for you all this time. Why are you doing this to me, your mother? Full of anger, Malan chased his mother away, you are not my mother. You are ugly, poor, and dirty, shouted Malan. Mande cries heartbroken. She felt weak, sad and hopeless while Malan and his wife turned and walked away to the ship. The ship sailed away and the crowd left Mande alone on the beach. Mande cried and prayed, oh God. If he wasn't my son, I would have forgiven his actions towards me. But if he is Malan Kundang I ask you for your truth. Soon, the sky darkened and a strong wind blew. It rains down on earth in destructive storms. A storm rocked Malan's ship, angry thunder. 